Hi, my name is Tamara, and you are watching Things Even a Monkey Should Know. Hello, hello! Thank you so much for joining me again today. As you know, if you've watched some of my other videos, I'm not a professional anything except artist, but I have learned there are a lot of things around the house and out in the yard and on my cars that I can do myself and often save myself time, money, and aggravation, so I hope that you have saved all of those things now too. Today we are ending this section of videos with the same area that we started in, the windows. So today we are looking at a double home window in which the bottom sash does not lift anymore. Or it can lift, but when you drop it, it just drops and crashes back down into the window frame, which is terrible because not only can it break itself, but it can break anybody's little fingers that happen to be in the way. So we're going to fix that. Now obviously to fix the window, we have to know who made the window. A lot of the, or actually probably all of the modern double hung windows will have the manufacturer's name somewhere on the window. A lot of them like to etch it into a, a bottom of the window, which is really handy. So for example, in this one, this is a gelled wind window, and the name is etched down in this bottom corner along with the serial number of the windows. So if I ever have a question or a problem, I can call up gelled one and say, hey, here's my window, here's a serial number, um, I'm having this issue, and they typically can help me figure out how to fix it if I don't know what's wrong already. Or at least they can definitely send me the right parts to fix it. The next thing we need to know is what is wrong with the window. And the two major things that go wrong with these windows that cause the sash to not stay up is that the balance shoe, which is a little piece inside of the frame, gets disconnected from what is called the tilt pin, which is this little pin that juts out from the edge of this window, which we will see in just a moment. And that's a super easy fix. Now in my case, it is the tilt pin that is the problem. These can become broken, bent. Um, in this case, somebody just plain installed the wrong size. They're too short. So that's what we're doing today. For those of you that may not know how to remove the uh, bo bottom section of a double hung window, let's just go over that really quickly because I sure didn't know how to do this before I had to deal with these. We always want to unlock the window. We're going to pull in these little slides that lock it into the track on either side. We're going to pull the window up by a few inches and then we're going to tilt it we're going to angle it so that it comes all the way out. Now keep in mind, it is kind of heavy, so you may need a second person to help you with it. Let's go over the things we're going to need today. Well, we're going to need both types of screwdrivers. We are going to need, well, I'm going to use a drill uh, power driver. You're going to need your replacement part, which in our case today is these very lovely tilt pins provided by Geldwin. And then you're going to need, obviously, your window that you're fixing. This is the balance shoe I was talking about. Now the tilt pin is supposed to be able to reach in and fit down into the balance shoe. Now mine, like I said, are too short because someone changed them out. If you are having a problem with your balance shoes, usually it's because they've come out of the locked position. And I'm going to show you what happens, but be prepared for this because if you unlock these balance pins, uh, shoes, excuse me, they just want to zip up to the top of your uh, window frame. So you can stick your screwdriver in and be prepared for this. So you've just unlocked it and now you can move it around. So if it had already zipped up here, then now you will be able to move it down under uh, where you can get to your frame. Keep your fingers out of the way. This is really stiff, so I'm just gonna go ahead whoo, and lock it back because this was not my problem, but I wanted you all to see what you need to do to fix it if it is your problem. It's a very simple thing to fix. Now, thank goodness for replacement parts. This is gonna be so simple. All we're gonna do is unscrew this old shoe or this incorrect shoe. It wasn't even the old shoe. 
we're going to take our new shoes, which Jeldwin has actually provided new screws and everything. They provided two different lengths, but it looks like it was just the shorter length that was used. We're gonna line up the screw holes and we are simply going to line up the screw holes. So we're gonna turn the window around and we're gonna do it the other side. Okay, so we have part of that one done. And that should hopefully be all that we have to do. Now let's reinstall this thing. All right, now that we have our balance shoes down at the bottom, let's go ahead and insert our window which we don't have to lift it quite as high now to get it in here. And we want those to, balance shoes to be at about the same height, but our window, there we go, should pretty well lock in. It's really better if it's at a 90 degree angle, which I didn't have. And if they're, uh, not sure I got them quite even enough. We'll find out but we want to pull in these little locks up here at the top so that it fits down into the track. And then let's check out our cranky window. And now we have a window that works. So, oh, enjoy the fresh air. I know my favorite thing to say at the end of these is see how easy that was, but it's amazing to me how many things seem like they should be big scary fixes and they're really not because having a window sash that wants to fall seems like it should be really hard to fix. And it is typically one of those two things. Either your tilt pin has slipped out of your balance sash, so you've got balance shoe, so you've got one shoe way up here and one down here or you're t there's something wrong with your tilt pins themselves. Now, yes, I am aware that different manufacturers call these parts different things. The premise is the same. Um, and that's all I have to say about that. Now, one other thing, I don't know if you noticed, but I had a little bit of a difficult time getting my window up and down, which since it's never gone up and down before, I didn't know that would happen. Um, I discovered that there was a screw in one of the tracks that had not been countersunk and it was sticking out. So every time I tried to get past it, I was kind of jerking it up like this. So all I did was take out that screw, make it a countersunk screw, and now the window operates very nicely. And I'm so happy to have the fresh air again. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you haven't subscribed already, please go ahead and do that right now. Thank you so much to everybody who already has. I will not see you quite as soon as usual as this is the last in this set of videos. I am taking a four week, yes, four week hiatus. This monkey will be back on August 12th. I look forward to seeing you then.